Hey, if you want to get good at drawing characters, today I have a, a cool little exercise to show you. Uh, this is how I practice drawing characters um, and figures so that I can get better at anatomy. It's a cool little exercise that you can try out. It doesn't take that long to do unless you want it to take forever. But yeah, let's just get <laughs> into it. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we want to do is actually gather some reference. Um, so here is my page full of reference that I created. It's just a 16 by nine canvas. And I go to Pinterest and I just literally copy and paste the images I want onto this file. And so I have about 40 to 50 images here that I can use to practice drawing figures. And so that's why I will be using for the video and in the time lapse. Uh, this, is, this is my second page of reference and then this is my first page. Uh, it's very simple. Like I said, just copy and paste from Pinterest or Google, wherever you get your images from, just copy and paste it into your drawing program. And uh, you can organize them however you want. But most important thing is just to have a place you have all your reference so that when you draw, it's easy to move on to the next next one. All right. So I learned how to draw the human anatomy and simplify it by doing a lot of figure drawing. And this is my favorite way to practice drawing anatomy. I know that I want to go into detail and like learn how to draw the structure and the muscles of the human body. But for now, just simplifying everything helps me. And I do that through figure drawing. So to get started, like I said, you wanna have some reference that you use. And the key to this is to time yourself. Um, when I first started doing this, I, I set a timer for 30 seconds. I would draw the first pose or the first image that I have and then move on to the next one and do that for like 10, 20, 30 um, poses, right? And so that's what I'm doing here in this time lapse in Clip Studio. I draw 10 female and then 10 male poses. And in the time lapse here, I didn't start with 30 seconds. 30 second interval. Instead, I started with the one minute interval. So when you first start doing this, especially the 30 second, uh, don't worry about the details as much. What I'm focused on is the gesture of the pose and the overall shape of the forms. And I really wanna make sure that I'm getting the right lines down and shapes down on the paper so that I am creating the pose that I want. It's all about repetition. So I'm just, like I said, I'm not drawing details. I'm just drawing the basic forms and a gesture. And I want to repeat this exercise a lot. And that's how I'm getting good. That's how I'm training myself to get good at drawing figures and anatomy. Uh, I feel like I still have a lot, of, a lot more room to improve, of course. But overall, I really like how I progressed with my figure drawing and anatomy. And that's because of this simple exercise I do where I start with a 30 second interval, move to a one minute interval, then two minute, then three minute, then five minute. And uh, I actually wanna start doing longer versions of this as well, where I go for like 10, 20, 30 minutes for just figure drawing and really break down the figure, understand the forms of the muscles and things like that. So yeah, this is a fun exercise at this point. I am having fun with this. Uh, that's one thing I like to do is have fun with the studies that I do. And so after I've done the, the hard part, which is the figure drawing in those one to five minute drawings, I like to just have fun, relax and draw my own character over the top of some figures that I've drawn. And so that's what I would encourage you to do so kind of re reward yourself for even going through that because it can be difficult at first, but just have fun with it. Draw those poses that um, are, you're a little bit more comfortable with drawing. And for me, I wanted to challenge myself to add some poses, some drawings to this character design sheet for this character. I 
I think another thing you can do to have even more fun with this and to play around with uh, getting better at drawing figures is drawing some from imagination. After you go through these exercises, try to draw or try to remember even some, some of the poses that you drew and try to draw them from imagination on a blank sheet of paper without looking at any reference. Uh, that's what I like to do. It helps me understand what I still don't understand, <laughs> if that makes sense, and uh, helps me get better because I can review my drawings and whether or not they look correct or if I'm just drawing broken bones everywhere, you know, so. So for me, the, the hardest part about drawing poses is definitely the force shortening of limbs and arms and, and fingers and stuff like that. Uh, that's where perspective comes in, but for this exercise, you don't even gotta worry about perspective. Like don't, don't even trip yourself up on that. Just try and, if you need to, just do, just draw like basic poses. I know in some of my images I got like really dynamic looking poses. If you want to challenge yourself and really get good at drawing the limbs and the body in perspective, then yeah, you should definitely try that out and try to draw and challenge yourself by drawing poses that are in difficult angles. It'll teach you more about perspective and anatomy at the same time. But yeah, that's probably the hardest part about drawing the figure for me is just drawing things in perspective. And just make sure you do this consistently, practice it consistently. And I found that's, that's how you have the, that's how you see the best results, right? Is by practicing this repeatedly, consistently, even when you are bad at it. Like eventually I want to get good at drawing animals. And so I know I have to be bad before I can get good. So I'm willing to <laughs> uh, stick it out and and draw some bad animal drawings before I draw some good ones. So that's kind of my approach to drawing in general. And that's how I approach poses. And that's why I wanted to share this exercise with you because don't get discouraged if your figures aren't where you want them to be. It just, you just gotta push through it and draw as much as possible and repeatedly study and do this exercise uh, this is this is the exercise I did when I was first starting to learn how to draw the human body and I remember I was I was terrible <laughs> I was bad at it but yeah I can see myself improving a lot and overall it's just a lot of fun so I hope this video encourages you to go draw some figures in 30 seconds and in one minute and in two minutes and three minutes and four minutes. Um, it's been really helpful for me in drawing characters. And as you can see in this character design sheet, I took what I learned from that exercise, the figure drawing exercise and applied it to my own character. Uh, because once you, once you got that skeleton, once you got that mannequin of the character, you can have the clothing on top and everything just like fits in position like a puzzle piece, you know? So it just starts with like the fundamental type stuff, learning like the shapes and forms of things. But yeah, that's all I got for this video. I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.